Wait, is this a one-shot headshot like Modern Warfare 2? Wait, it is! Ah, ah. <clears throat> I hope this is worth it, man. No. Nope. Yo, what's going on, guys, man? And welcome back to some more Modern Warfare 3. We are continuing this road to Interstellar. Since the last video, I have made some insane progress. And by the way, I want to thank you guys for all of the support you've been showing on this series. You guys have been going crazy. And honestly, it really helps with motivation for continuing to grind. Since I got access to the game, I played for 24 hours, slept for two hours only, then played for another 24 hours yesterday, slept for two hours only just now and now we're back and i can barely feel my body but listen if you guys are enjoying the series then please drop a like on the video let's say 2,000 likes that sounds fair and also if you are new around here subscribe do it so like i said i've made a lot of progress you guys saw the videos where i unlocked forged on the assault rifles and also the smgs but now i've also got the battle rifles ready to get forged i literally only need one more gilded camo and then we can get forged on these today i'm gonna be unlocking forged on the shotguns i literally only need one more gilded camo which is this one right here i need to get two kills shortly after sprinting in one life pretty easy i've also got all of the lmgs ranked up my pkm is actually gold yeah my pkm's gold and all the others are ranked up so i've pretty much got all of those done too and i've also started ranking up the maximum rifle so Chill. you know what's funny if you go over two stats and then go over to the leaderboards first of all i didn't even realize there were leaderboards i was in discord with my boy phase doozy my boy swag and last night we were both neck and neck for kills i'm literally fifth in the well, four kills right now worldwide. I didn't even notice, but that's crazy. So that just shows you how much I've been playing. And think about this. Imagine I wasn't spending six hours a day editing videos. <laughs> so one thing I realized whilst doing these shotguns is that playing hardcore is the way forward when it comes to getting them done. Yo, teammate. Bro made me regret everything I said. But yeah, hardcore is just way easier because the shotguns tend to have decent range. So you can really just run around and shoot and it will most likely kill someone. That surely was one. This is a weirdly specific challenge, by the way. Kills shortly after sprinting, but double kills? Huh? Wait. Was that a double kill as well? Thank you. Yeah, I don't know if that would even be possible in core, especially with this weapon. I suppose you could put on extended mags, but... So a bunch of you guys have been trying to tell me about the zombies method in ranking up weapons. And don't get me wrong, I really appreciate you guys letting me know different ways I could rank up my weapons a lot faster. But I don't know, I don't really want to try zombies just yet until I'm going for the camo. You know, this is the multiplayer camo, so I'm going to stick to multiplayer for ranking up the weapons. I feel like, I don't know, just something about doing the zombies method just seems a little bit cheesy to me. Oh, I got it. Gilded unlocked. I barely got to see it because I died, but it is what it is. But this is my favorite of the shotguns, by the way, the Lockwood. For some reason, this thing is just insanely fun to run around with. And to make it even better, the final challenge that I need to do is get one shot kills whilst aiming down sights. That's how we get forged with this thing. And that's exactly what I want to do with this thing too. By the way, that's nothing against anyone that is doing the zombies method. Of course, it probably is way more efficient. I don't know what it is. I just want to stick to multiplayer for this part of the grind. Huh? Look at the rage, bro. So while I was using the shotguns, I was called a cheater so many flipping times. <laughs> oh, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting a little bit scared because You guys know how much I've been playing. I've been popping off in a bunch of games and oh, I, I don't know. I can see why people probably think it's a little bit sus. So I'm not surprised, especially in that game, that people probably report me. And that's kind of scary. I don't know if you guys know with the banning system in this game, but I don't know. It's all very scary. The shadow ban system probably isn't the best, or at least that's what people say. So when I'm running around doing all this crazy stuff, and then I've got people in the chat calling me a cheater, it's kind of scary. I don't know, man. I might get banned. Who knows? I mean, I hope not. You know, he got kicked. 
Yeah, I would hope not. The amount of progress that I've made. Could you imagine, you know, I get so close to Interstellar and then I just get banned. I can't even unlock it. That would be crazy. Oh, quad feed. Quad feet to unlock Forged. I couldn't see the pop up because of all the medals, but that's crazy. I need to get some operator kills with SMGs for one of my daily challenges. My wins aren't counting towards daily challenges yet because I haven't got all of them done. Oh, what? Your wins only count towards your daily challenges once you've got all of the actual daily challenges done. And I haven't got all of them done yet for today. So it's a little bit annoying because I've got weapons I need to unlock for this grind. There we go. Gilded and forged unlocked. Let's take a look at it. Here we go. Forged camo. A lot of people said they loved it when I uploaded it the other day. And a lot of people said it's kind of mid. I don't know. Diamond for me will always be way better. All right. Forged for the shotguns. Look at that. Overrated is. I don't know. I just find it so difficult to get hyped over getting the forged camo. That's how it is in core, by the way. It's not always a one shot kill. But for some reason, I still find it so satisfying to run around with. Go. Oh, wait. How many kills did I just get with that one shot? Was that a collapse? You see why I find it fun to run around with now? Stay there. Stay there. Damn. Yeah, that shotguns, I'll be honest, even though people hated me and called me a cheater, these are probably the most fun I've had on Modern Warfare 3 so far. All of them are actually pretty good. The worst one is probably the Haymaker because it has literally no range. To be fair, I didn't really mess around with attachments, so there's probably a good way of using it. Okay, I need to get some kills with this SMG or with any SMG, to be honest, so that I can carry on unlocking the other weapons to continue my grind. I didn't realize this, but there's actually so many weapons that you have to unlock through the armory unlocks. So if I was to give you any advice, make sure you start doing that pretty early. Make sure you get your daily challenges done so that your wins then count towards your daily challenges or towards your armory unlocks because that just makes it so much easier. And if you are doing the camo grind, you don't want to get to the point where you're ready to use the next weapon. You just don't have it unlocked. That's happened to me a couple of times and it definitely slows you down. Go. Yo, yo, teammate. There we go. Got the daily challenge done. So now when we win this game, it will count towards the next marksman rifle that I need to unlock. And this is the marksman rifle I'm currently working on. So I've currently got it to level 27, which isn't too bad. So now I only need to rank it up a few more times. Then we've got it to max. And then I can start focusing on the challenges. I'm not lying to you guys when I say I literally just rank my weapons up to max and then start focusing on the challenges. It's literally as simple as that. And honestly, if I wasn't making videos, most likely what I would do is max rank every weapon in the game not even unlock any gold camos and then once i've got them all leveled up just run through all of the camos after that this reminds me of like an mk14 Oh, you know what I find so weird right now? You guys know I've literally hardly slept since I've had access to the game, which is I was playing the game on the ninth, the day before the game even came out. I played for 24 hours, slept for two hours. Then I played for another 24 hours, slept for two. And I still feel okay. Don't get me wrong. I feel tired I, a little bit. My eyes are heavy, but you know, I don't feel as bad as I did last year with the Modern Warfare 2 camo grind. That, hey, that right there did something to me. I don't know what it was. Playing that game for that amount of time every single day it takes it out of you man i'm not gonna lie that movement those maps it, it, it didn't hit it really didn't wait how'd that get me help why did his body just jump up Ooh. Oh my goodness. I've always wondered how they determine how many levels they're going to give a weapon. Because this marksman rifle right here has 30 levels, which is the most annoying thing ever. When you go to move on to a new weapon and you see, wait, 28 levels, 30 levels, that's when you know you're down bad. <laughs> wait, is this a one shot headshot like Modern Warfare 2? Wait, it is. Making effective fire. 
Yeah! It's so funny because I still get people asking me, yo, Brad, why do you want to grind a camo so quick? And I don't really know why, because I don't have to, you know? I could slowly go through the series getting their camos, but there's just something in me that just needs to get the camo as soon as I can. I see it as like an event at the start of every Call of Duty. That's how I see it personally. And I know a lot of you guys get excited for the start of a new Call of Duty to see that. Yeah, it's just a challenge I set myself at the start of every new game. But yeah, we managed to get the Marsma rifle that I needed to unlock, unlocked. And again, the reason why I used the SMG just now is because now I've completed all three of those daily challenges. Any win that I get will count towards my armory unlocks. And the wins are just so much easier. They happen naturally. So now I've got this weapon unlocked. What would be smart for me to do is because I've got all the marksmen done now, I should activate whatever I need to unlock in the armory. So, okay, this sniper, when I move on to the snipers, I want to have this already unlocked. So I'll activate this right here. And now all of my wins that I get today will count towards me unlocking this sniper. You just gotta think ahead for efficiency, that's all. But yeah, man, that's the end of this video. Again, I appreciate all the support you guys have been showing on this series. I've hardly slept, but honestly, the more that I grind, the faster that this will be over. And I will have the interstellar camo. I really want this priceless camo too. They both look fire. Before I let you guys go, I wanna give a huge shout out to Boohoo Man. You guys can go check out all the clothing using the link in the description description there's a bunch of fire stuff on there and my code bradders will get you a discount at checkout so go make use of that and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video